Hello, Luca. Hello. How are you? Fine, and you? Very well, thank you. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to see you. Yes, um, and, uh, we are so proud to introduce the, the field in London for the first time. Yeah, we obviously saw this at Superbooth and uh, I believe we saw it at NAM as well. Yes. Um, and so and now is in, in the final stage. Yes. So this, I believe, is now shipping, and there's also been some. Yes, the Rolex, uh, the Rolex is uh, ready to ship in, in, uh, from uh, one week, so it's uh, very uh, near. And uh, the, the standalone device, uh, we need also other two weeks. Fantastic. So uh, there's been some updates to it, I believe. For some firmware updates. Uh, yes, uh, based on the, the NAM is in prototype. Now is in final stage. Fantastic. Yeah. So uh, just very briefly, I know you've already shown us this before, but do you just want to just quickly run us through yeah. just what this does again? Yes, the device uh, born to be placed uh, between the sequence and the rest of the synthesizer chain. You can uh, set after how many steps you would like to key cut the chain from the sequencer and the synthesizer. And you can set after how many steps and how the fill is long. Uh, for fill, uh, we, we, um, we use the, the fill name uh, for the um, historic um, drum machine in the field, yes. Okay. So now it's in pass through. Each signal comes inside, it comes actually in output without any manipulation. Now we have one gate from sequencer, and yeah. this is gate output. And we have two CV and clock, of course. I can press play. We count eight now. The white line is the name number of gate repetition, but you can draw it. Now the maximum is 60, but I can go at 64. We have the touch also on the side, so it's very easy to set without the covered screen. We can go at the forward and reverse, for example. The orange line is the number, uh, is the CV. You can draw it, but you can also modulate. Only tap is white pipe on the side. You can set uh, the... Fantastic. So you I can uh, modulate the modulation. See, the orange line is uh, CV from gate one, but you can also set, uh, uh, we have uh, um, the number two. Now we have in the rear, but of course, wow. you can also set. For uh, uh, now the, each CV, you can set independently if you would like to have uh, the quantization. So now it's off. In the off, you can set the minimum CV note and the maximum CV note. But if you go to quantization, you can set the scale, for example, chromatic. Uh, and it's differently if you want for each channel, each, each CV. And we have four. There's four CV. Yeah, it's four CV, yes. Okay, fantastic. Two channels, so each channel you have a gate and two CV. Gate is two CV, but you can work also together. Fantastic. We have uh, also the XY mod. It's very so playable. Time. Yeah, yeah. Time, filter, and with the second touch, now we have the reverb. And you can set channel one and channel two only with the uh, swipe on the side. We have the LED. So it's very easy to, to work. It's the same for channel one, channel two. Channel one, channel two. And so you, you can record that, what you did on the screen just then. You can, you can record those. Record. For, you can record your fingers that you moved across. Yes, you can uh, record also, and you, you will find in the editor to move uh, what uh, you're moving, yes. Fantastic. Great, it's very playable. It's very performative. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's very instant, and I think that's what I I've really liked about seeing yeah. this as it, in its development. The orange line is the drawing of the number of repetitions you will find. The, um, we have also this, the pattern. The pattern, you see the, um, uh, the gray line is, uh, is off. Okay. I show you. For example, now you can cut it. Oh. Okay. And, okay. You can also. You want to go Very nice. Yeah. And you can save those patterns and recall them. 
is it possible to save and record? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You can save the global, save the setting. Yeah. Of course, you can set the PPQ and the screen server, set save setting. For now, we have only one setting, but uh, we are working to add uh, some um, presets, like 20, and you can save. Uh, Fantastic. For, uh, for the, uh, yes. Great. And was there any uh, a firmware update or some something different that you've updated over on your wonderful de uh, delay device the there? The Godfather. On the Godfather, yes. yes. Will you go on the to connect it? Um, it's okay if you just wanted to yes, run us through we, it. Okay, we have uh, some uh, new possibility to change the the kind of uh, saturator, for example. We have uh, more um, uh, destination of uh, LFO, uh, and uh, for each each channel you can set uh, different uh, kind of saturator, different kind of algorithm, totally independent for each channel. Um, we have improved some things so like uh, MIDI control, uh, some sequencer, uh, a lot of, uh, of, of uh, fine requests uh, from um, the preset. Uh, it's possible now to recall by MIDI. Um, yes, like this. Wow, lots of updates there. Yes. Well, fantastic. Thanks for and running. And now we that. are working with the release uh, firmware number 2.0. So also the, the graphics is totally drawing, yes. Fantastic. Great. Well, can't wait to uh, have a play with both of these properly. Um, and uh, sorry, you said these are shipping imminently. They're going to be shipping soon. Yes, the, the Aerorec uh, modules come uh, in this box and is ready to ship. I'll show you. Uh, it's new. <laughs> Brand new. There it is. Fantastic. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.